Three years following the emergence of COVID-19, authorities at state and federal levels are preparing to lift emergency declarations originally issued to marshal pandemic responses. While the moves will undoubtedly be cheered in some circles, such steps aren't merely symbolic. Transitioning out of the emergency phase could eventually spell the end of universal access to free vaccines, treatments and tests. But plans to rescind the emergency declarations also illustrate a turning in the years-long global battle against COVID-19. My sincere hope is that we're entering a new phase with less devastation, less severe illness and, particularly, with less death, Los Angeles County Public Health Director B. Here's what you need to know Governor. Gavin Newsom has announced the COVID-19 state of emergency in California will end February 28. With the operational preparedness that we've built up and the measures that we'll continue to employ moving forward, California is ready to phase out this tool, he said in a previous statement. And President Biden informed Congress this week that he will end the COVID-19 national emergency and public health emergency declaration on May 11. That timeline is reasonable from a public health perspective, according to White House COVID-19 response coordinator Drive Ashish Jha. We're not completely through the winter, but we wanted to make sure we didn't have a crushing surge, where hospitals were setting up beds in the parking lots, Jha S. Although the coronavirus subvariant XBB. 1. 5 is still rising in some places, and there might be a bump in cases moving forward, Cha said we felt pretty confident over the last couple of weeks that we had probably been through the worst. But, he added, let's be very clear, COVID is still a major burden for public health in America, so ending the emergency is not the same thing as saying it is no longer a problem. Nationally, 48. 000 COVID-19 deaths have been reported since October, nearly triple the estimated 17 000 flu deaths over the same time. In the city of Los Angeles, the local COVID-19 emergency declaration ended Wednesday. But the one for Los Angeles County remains in place, Ferrer said. It's the basis for the existence of the county's pandemic eviction moratorium, which covers all unincorporated areas and cities that do not have their own moratoriums in place. We are not lobbying to extend the emergencies. What we are doing is taking a hard look at what protections are offered by the emergency declarations and, if things go away, what would be put in place to mitigate any unanticipated or unintended consequences, Ferrer said. Lifting the federal declarations right away would be hugely disruptive to healthcare systems that have altered their operations to be more tailored to the needs of the pandemic era, according to Jaw.